In this video, I'll show you how to install R, RStudio, and Radiant on Windows. The first thing I want you to take a look at is the username for your computer. It should be a name that has only ASCII characters, so A through Z and numbers. Uh, no special characters, uh, as it will cause some problems, unfortunately. Okay, so there's three things we need. We need R, R Studio, and Radiant. And for your convenience, we've created an all-in-one installer. And so right now I'm on the install page uh, for Radiant. And so how do you get there? Well, you should already have the link. If not, you can just type Radiant RStats install in your browser and it should get you directly to the uh here it is here's the install page okay so once you're on the install page the first thing you need then is this all-in-one installer so let's click on that link and it's going to ask us where we want to install that so let's go ahead and download that to our computer. And this will take a minute or two, so I'm just gonna pause the video until that's done. Okay, so the installer is downloaded. Let's click on that to get this running. Okay, here we go. So like I said, there's a couple things you need. You need R, you need R Studio, uh, Radiant, and then it's also going to install a zip and unzip utility, which will be convenient. Okay, so just follow the defaults. Here it goes, starting on the install for R. And that'll take a second. Okay, so now it's going to install R Studio. You won't actually see much happening, but it is making progress. It's kind of installing it for you in the background. So just let that run until that's done. Okay, it looks like our studio's installed as well. Now, once that's done, you'll see this big like box show up, which will start to install a bunch of packages, R packages that Radiant will need to run. So there they are. So it's going to go through those, download them. These are all pretty small in and of themselves, but there's quite a few of them. So this will take a few minutes to download. And once it's downloaded, it's going to start installing those. So again, that'll take a couple of minutes. Tends, depends a little bit on your uh, internet connection speed. Okay, so the packages have been downloaded. I included Radiant, as you can see up here. And now it's unpacking them and installing them into your computer. So again, this will take a minute or two, uh, and I'll be back when that's done. Okay, so now all the R packages have been installed. And so now it's moving on to the last part of the install process, which is installing uh, LaTeX or LaTeX, uh, which is a tool that will allow you to generate uh, reports in PDF format, if you so desire, uh, and will even allow you to include math uh, and various other things in your reports. So this again will take a little time, uh, a few minutes, again, depending on your internet connection speed. And so just let it run. And when it's done, uh, oh, actually there is one small part here, which is kind of important. So during the install process, uh, two pop-ups will appear. Uh, they will be warnings suggesting that something isn't installed. This is not something to worry about. Uh, this is not something that we could suppress. It's just part of the install process. It doesn't hurt your install at all. It's to be expected. So just click OK when they come up uh, and just let the install continue. Right? So there's really nothing wrong at all, no problem at all. Uh, it just looks a little funny, okay? but nothing to worry about. Okay, so here is that first pop-up. So just again, go ahead and click OK. There's nothing wrong, there's no problems at all. Uh, and then let it go for another minute or two. Uh, and then that part of the install will also be finished. Okay, it looks like this last part is almost done.
Okay, and what you just saw flashing past was the uh, install of the zip utility. All right, so now we see uh, that we've completed the installer, click finished, and you're all set. So now how do we get to our studio and radiant? Let's close this. So here's a shortcut to our studio. Actually, I would prefer to just add that to the taskbar to make it easily accessible. So let's start up our studio. And so our studio is what's known as an IDE, so an Integrated Development Environment, which means that you can use it to write our code. Uh, it has a bunch of other uh, nice features for, for helping you to write our code efficiently. But the main thing we're gonna use it for initially at least is uh, for the add-ins menu. So here's the add-ins menu. When you click on that up here, uh, you can click on Start Radiant and that will start at the Radiant application in your default browser. Now at some point you'll also likely need to update or uh, install packages or install uh, update Radiant, uh, but that's something for later on. So for now, let's just click Start Radiant and wait for it to start up in your default browser. So when you click that uh, element from the dropdown, you'll see that this is actually the code that's being run. Radiant is, is uh, starting based on this command. So what you'll see is some data on diamond prices. Um, this is the data manage tab where you can load and save data. It's a bunch of other tabs as well, but of course we'll get into that in more detail. This is just the first step to make sure that you have everything installed and ready to go. All right, so let's stop the application here. Clicking stop and you are done. So this is the first step, making sure you have everything installed and ready to go.